Hello and welcome back, I'm the Game Beaver, and it's another episode of Jurassic World the Game. Your favorite game, right? Am I right? Well, probably not, but heck yeah, it's up there, right? Well, today I was just about to, you know, go and just do my own thing, and then all of a sudden, this new event popped up, and I was like, I've never seen that before. That looks awesome. So already, we have a, um, more teeth. This is the special pack, and I think it's about as much as a rare. And of course, you have the chances of getting a Tyranna Titan, a Giganotosaurus, Giganotosaurus, Gigantosaurus, however you want to say it, Spinosaurus, which is a super rare, and Tyrannosaurus Rex, which of course is a legendary. We also have an event, an event, a event to test out too. So um, I logged in here and it didn't load and it just loaded these two, like the live arena and battle stage. And I was like, wait, wait, did I just miss the tournament? What just happened? I don't even know where I am now. Yeah, I've dropped to 27. Thing is, when I get to Dominator League, the difference between me and the next person up is five or 600 cups. And there is no way that I can sort of do that. Um, so that's kind of awkward. But I'm kind of glad that the Cunning Carnivores is here. I will win that pack. Don't worry, we're going to do it. On the last day, we'll just grind and get up pretty high. Um, and I, actually, I should probably live stream that. Um, I was just grinding up. Um, so, cunning carnivores. Carnivores rare, but first, before we do that, we want to check out the pack situation. And there it is, more teeth! And it is $7.99. Um, I will do this, of course. Um, as is my obligation with this game, is to show and prove to you whether things are worth the money. And of course, um, I do it so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure that's a motto of, of something else. Ah, here we go. Now to cut forward so you don't see my password. That's so weird. The clicks go through the tablet, but don't go through the computer. That's strange. Okay, do we have separate speakers? Oh, we did it! And of course, as per usual, the pack is always a little bit too much to the left, which really annoys me. Uh, <laughs> I haven't mentioned it before, but everything that the things land on, their glow is just too much to the left. I wonder if Ludia's gonna fix that. Saying that, do you know what? You know when Dilophosaur had its weird animation where its tongue went out its bottom jaw? Peck Out Your Eyes has the same problem, but it happens so quick you don't notice it, and because of that, and because nobody's mentioned it, you, Ludia haven't fixed it. So I wonder if, like, I was to show it in an episode, they would go, oh yeah, let's get on that and fix that. Because I did that with Dilophosaur, and now it's fixed. Um, so here is more teeth! Let's go! Uh, I would love a T-Rex, that would be awesome. Uh, we've got chances of getting... We've got, it's 50% 50, 50 chance of getting a rare, basically. And 25% of Spinosaur or T-Rex. You'd think, right? But it's gonna be 5% for T-Rex. I knew it! Damn it! Okay, we do get 100 bucks, not too bad. but And a lot of damn coin. Uh, Toronto Titan is actually one of the recent dinosaurs I have just maxed up. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That will make a level 30 and a level 40. So, no, I actually do need some. That's not too bad. I do need some of those. And I'm working towards getting the uh, hybrids. Don't worry, guys. I've seen you comment. I've seen the ones that are like, Beaver, when, when's the new hybrid coming? She told them what you're doing. I'm going to get there. Don't worry. I've been working on getting a Pachycephalosaurus and whatnot. In fact, I actually got all of them hatched. So, um... Like, what is it? What even is it? What is this hybrid? It's it's one of these. It's Eucocephalus, isn't it? It's that and Giganotosaurus, or Giganotosaurus, or Gigantosaurus, or God knows how you want to pronounce the name. Um, it looks more, much more impressive in arc, I will give it that. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five. We have, we have nine. So if we get rid of that level 40, we can instantly get another level 40. That's good. That's good. However, if we were to do that with this, we are left with level 11. The Pachyceratops, which is the other creature, um, is, of course, Nozudoceratops, which I think we can get back. Yeah, we can easily get that back. And this, guys, is my, my preparation for the next event, the update that comes out when Aquatic Park is here. We go up to level 65 max. And we get loads of more creatures. And I can just quickly zip through it. This is how much money I would have extra. So each one's about a million. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Times by 4, 8, 12. Um, 16, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I would have 27 million extra. Like wasted. 27 million coin wasted I would have. Uh, but now that I've spent it. 
they're not wasted. They're just waiting to be uh, collected. And there's more down here as well. So all of this, it's awesome. It really is. I'm really preparing myself for this. Um, so I think in the next episode we'll do that. I think I said in the previous episode that I was going to do it. But really, I kind of want to save. Um... Sakasukas, we haven't had you for a while. But saying that, I'll put you in for a 10. If we've got legendary, I don't mind spending 10 bucks on it. Just pop popping it in there and having it done. It only takes a day, actually. That's quite impressive. Oh, God, I didn't mean to click you. You know, if my park was a real park, they would just look at this and go, What? What is going on? What? What? What is that? Oh, Jesus. Um, also, I'm in Speaks. I'm in Speaks with a, with merchandise, actually. And we like, I was getting really excited because um, there's this, there's companies that do like YouTube plushies, basically. Um, Maker is sort of talking with all these other factories and big chains about making uh, merchandise for YouTubers. And basically, uh, they want it to be as personal to the channel as it can be so i was thinking what if we did like we take the jurassic park toys of course not the toy itself and the logo but have that similar so you have instead of it being a dilophosaurus and jurassic park have it the game and beaver and different background and unicorn wizard or peck out your eyes or you know echo the dolphin how about we have actual figures of these characters in real life that you can buy in a shop how awesome does that sound? So I'm going to try my damn hardest to get that to, to come to fruition. Um, all right, I could probably already get a plushie. That's a certain. We could get a um, Game Beaver plushie, which would be the uh, the version of me that is that was in the start of Jurassic Park month. That sort of one. The, the one I think everybody draws of me. If they see, if they want to draw a picture of me, they usually go for if that character. Um, and that's, what, that's something I drew myself, so that's perfect. Uh, no, enough jibber jabber. Let's get on. Oh, ooh. oh! It, like how it says, use rare carnivores hybrid. Um, so what is good here? There, that Ophicodon, man. <gasps> oh no, that's the evil sorcerer. Well, let's just use all of them. Let's go. Let's go, evil sorcerer. I've come for the unicorn wish and sound. You can't. You can't take it. Dash! But I must! Well, you're not going to, because I'm gonna kick your butt with Tyrannic Titan! Ha ba 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 Talking about that, there's gonna be a second season coming and I can't wait for it! It's gonna be awesome! So I'm just gonna go for all reserves and two black. Gotta go for the two, two, two black. Six. Oh, I went for it! That's in so much damage! Over 1,000! Oh, don't stop being such a drama queen! Right, Carnathor, Diabolus Rex. Because it does look like the devil. One, two, you're dead, factor in. All those and two block. I actually don't even factor in anything. We basically killed Pyroraptor. With no matter what. Ah! Foiled again! Maybe next time I'll get you. Maybe. Maybe. Right. Yeah, basically this thing's dead. One, two, three, dead, factor in two, and then one, two, three. Oh, went for a full on four! Right, okay. Well, it's dead in two. I thought it was dead no matter what, but I didn't expect that. I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god, I didn't realize you could sing, Carnotaurus. I like to sing. <laughs> I thought you were in Primal Carnage, buddy. No, I'm in here too. Okay. Uh, how did you even manage that cross-platforming? It must be one... Hell of a ride! It's easy when you know how to make toast. Well, I didn't realize toast was so close to uh, programming. Of course! What do you think the mini microprocessors are made of? Toast, apparently. Yeah! And I won! <laughs> yes, you did! Ah, oh, beautiful. I toast! Yeah! Beautiful. And uh, I guess I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs> Uh, oh, I knew he was going to do this. That's why I used it. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. The last one's going to be legendary. That's nice. I like to use different um, leagues. Because even if you're good, even if you've got loads of legendaries, let's say you don't have that many super rares, you couldn't do this event. 
So it's it's good that you sort of mark your way up, even though a normal player would anyway. But let's say like someone who hacks the game would it would be a little bit like, oh god damn it, more work. <laughs> That's right! If you're gonna have the best creatures, you better have the worst of the best creatures. The best of the worst. And this spino is actually only level 30. Oh, that's right, I spliced it for uh, Spino Raptor, didn't I? I'm sorry, Spino, I won't do it again, I promise. Love me and win this battle, would you, for me, dear? Oh, thank you. Oh, you are a star. Oh, oh, beautiful. I do, thank you. I like to win. You do, Spino. But I'm afraid you're against a crazy Spino now. You just have a rather a lot of swag. And clash. I'm sorry, Spino. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. Just use me next time, buddy. Oh! So much damage. Well, in comes Raptor. And Raptor. Oh, <laughs> you are dead, my friend. One, two. Buckle my shoe. You're dead! Four. And I thought you went for two. Yeah, three. Wallop! Oh, so many rage. Is rage good? 250, 270. Wow, it has so much damage. I love rage. I like how fat it looks. Like, it's got such a thick neck. One, two, three, four. Just go for a full on five. Did it kill it? Oh, of course it did. So that is two times in a row that we haven't used the hybrids. And have only needed two. Interesting. But now we will have legendaries. Hmm. What is it, legendaries? It is! <gasps> so many unicorn wizards! And they're all co Oh, look at that! Oh, look at them! They're so cute! T-Rex and Demetrodon, level 10. Um... Since... I think that could do it. Indominus could probably kill them all. I think that's done it. I do. Look at the damage on that level 30 T-Rex in comparison to a level 40 Sukumimus. It's got more attack. I will say it has a lot less health, but more attack. That's quite impressive. So the Sukumimus does have a lot of health, even level 30. And I'm gonna fodder it off from each shield. That is so many Unicorn Wizards. They can kill me in two. Unicorn Wizard. Evil Unicorn Wizard could kill me in two. But it's not going for it. Should we give it a shot? There you go. Oh, we did some damage! Wabada! Three, oh, six. Yeah, it's gonna go for that full on six. Yeah, awesome. I mean, really, it didn't have to. It was a real play. I probably could have guessed it went for all reserves. That would be really interesting to see how regular people play this game. Because if it's a bot, you sort of know what they're gonna do. But if it's a person, you'd be like, they've gone for all reserves, haven't they? You would never just attack and then not go for reserves. Because then it would be like every match, you wouldn't know what's gonna happen. Whereas this, it's a bit like Jurassic Park Builder. I've got into this state where I know that I've won or not. So, like, that I've won here. I've won this. Yeah, easy. I've won this fight. And I have been highly outclassed. Unicorn Wizard is the second best. Joint second best. Because uh, Pekka Rises is exactly the same. Which is really strange. Another trait that they brought over from Jurassic Park Builder. So an aid that's two block. I'm pretty sure T-Rex has got this. 381 damage, jumping to 433. That's like over 50. And it doesn't matter. I don't care how many you went for. Sukumimus is huge in comparison to T-Rex. Wow. T-Rex would not stand a chance. Yum! Go for the bite. <laughs> Kisses. Ha, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ah! 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 <laughs> Oh, it funny, like, the T-Rex roars and just meows. Yeah. So, there we go. Oh, 500 bucks! I just recently, last night, got over 16,000 bucks. That's never happened before. Or at least not that I can remember. Legit, anyway, without buying it. And now I'm almost on 17,000. So that was a lovely little event that we just got spoon-fed. So thank you. That was awesome. And we got to use some creatures that we don't get to, like, show love to. Like Spinosaur. And they do deserve it. Oh, also, like, this merchandise idea. How cool would it be to have this in your hands? Like, I don't know if I would be able to do it exactly the same. Because, like, Jurassic World the game own this. 
And if I was to like make merchandise, I think it would have to be slightly different. It couldn't be it would it would be different, but not to the point where you don't know, you know, it's Kool-Aid. Because it's it's not Jurassic World the games. It will be like the gaming beavers. Like ours, it'll be our sort of merchandise, not like Jurassic World the games. Um Because and they could put it as cooler sutures, but I'll, I'll put it like Kool-Aid! Cooler sutures. T-Rex killer, like, like, aka T-Rex killer, and unicorn, like, Dimetrodon, aka, uh, unicorn wizard, and it was so awesome to have all these creatures. What do you think, Kool-Aid? Now! Now! Give it! <laughs> that would be awesome to have, like, actions where Kool-Aid does, like, a chomp out, like, um, and, like, uh, peck out your eyes would flap, and I was just, I was had so many ideas around my head thinking, oh my god, this would be so good, and I really couldn't, like, if we could get it, good detail, or like, stylized, so I'll draw it in concept, and then they can take it and see what they can do, like, manufacturing it wise. Um, there's, I think there's Tube Heroes, that's what, um, there's a lot of people on Maker, like, the, uh, Diamond Minecart Minecraft, is it Diamond Minecart or Minecraft? Sorry, I, I, I honestly don't know, I know it's, I'm close, I know I'm close, you can give me that, but, uh, he's got plushies, and they, they were selling in, like, Target. So, we're just talking regular stores, and that's so cool that you could just go to your, like, you know, you could be shopping and then just see, like, merchandise from YouTube. And it really, sh it proves how big the internet has gotten, that that happens, because there was a time when people on YouTube were nothing. It was just like, oh, you just watch YouTube videos? What the hell? That's weird. Watch TV. And now, it's like, people are going to YouTube instead of TV, and, like... I don't know about this whole YouTube Red with subscription base. It's it's there to basically help us as cre creators. That's how it's supposed to work. So you think it'd be nothing but benefits, but these days, if you want to watch things, um, you just you go to Netflix. You subscribe to Netflix, and YouTube is an awesome platform that you go free of charge, except for the little advert. But that advert helps us out. I will say the advert helps us out because that's how we get paid. But it's free. And that's what I love about it. I, I know YouTube Red's gonna have some, pu like, a PewDiePie, um, exclusive series. And they'll, they'll probably try to- I don't know how it's gonna go. Right now, it's still very vague and up in the air. Uh, it's still testing. And hopefully, nothing but good will come out of it. I really do. I hope so. Um... So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do that event, buy the pack, show you what you get in it. It is the equivalent of a rare pack. You get a hundred bucks. Um, is it worth it? I would say none of these packs are worth it. That's that's the rule here. None of these packs are worth the prices you get. Because if you work hard enough the, of the, at the game, you're going to get these prizes for free in events. Um, but... I mean, if, it, if money's no object to you, of course they're worth it. But I would say, um, it, it, the microtransactions are literally everywhere now. And card packs are everywhere. I don't know where they started, but you, now you get card packs in Halo 5. That's crazy. Like, to think that a big console title has taken some of the app games do. Like, you know, like little publishers, maybe one or two people sometimes. And the only way they can get paid is, like, two pounds to unlock everything. And now the big guys who you would think would never have a problem with money or have an issue are trying to get money that way. And I, f I feel like that's a bit cheeky. Uh, of course. And now it's not even like, you know, oh, it's just a little bit to speed up. In Halo 5, I think there's over a thousand different parts of armor and stuff like that to get. And to... Get all of them legitimately, because you get points while you play. You have to play for like five years straight or something like that. It's something ridiculous. Probably not five years, two years straight. And nobody's going to have time for that. And it sort of removes the value of it because you get them randomly. So let's say you get you see a guy with a really cool armor piece. And they didn't work hard for that. They didn't get a certain achievement or anything. They just randomly got it in a pack. Which is also cool. Like this game... You can randomly get a T-Rex quick. I remember when this started, what I loved about it was the fact that um, everybody had different dinosaurs. Like, I knew uh, some people on the Facebook group that had Dilophosaurus. And Dilophosaurus was one of the last creatures I ever got. But it was a rare. And that was cool to me because it was like, oh, I actually want to get a rare pack. Or, like, because you couldn't get it unless you unlocked it or you got to a certain level. And Dilophosaurus was quite high. But you could get them if you got lucky in a pack. 
So I could, there's pros and cons to everything here, and I know I've been jabbering on. Uh, there was somebody in the comments of Jurassic Park Build that was like, Oh, I remember when you used to play this, and there would be a 10 minute story at the end of every episode. And I, I mean, I remember saying that too, and it's something that, like, maybe I feel like hasn't been lost. It's still there. I do, I do natural on like I am doing now. It's exactly the same. Um, but I felt like that was when I was starting to open up, and I wasn't just this, uh, I, like, I remember when I first started, and my videos were terrible. That's, that's how everybody starts. Everybody starts bad. Um... But it was, it was really nice, um, just talking, basically, and getting it all out, and you guys obviously loved it, and I, I enjoyed doing it too, um, and, like, it, it's weird, because I don't feel like I'm this YouTuber with 400,000 subscribers, I still feel like I did when I had 2,000, or, you know, even lower, and... I, I was actually talking to someone the other day, and they, um, they're, they're like a friend, basically, you know, I talk to them just normally, and obviously they found me through my YouTube, well, not obviously, oh god, yeah, I'm high and mighty, no, uh, they found me through YouTube, and they loved watching my content, and they were saying, do, do you not think, like, people listen to you, like, before they go to bed, like, the last thing they hear, and, like, when they're on the way to work, they watch your videos, I was like, no. <laughs> No, honestly, if I did think of that when I was recording these videos, which I am now, it's kind of daunting. Because um, you, I, when you record, you never feel like you're going to have hundreds and thousands of people watching you. Um, and I mean, that's what's cool about it, because you feel comfortable. I, I was never one of those people that felt comfortable on stage in front of an audience or performing or anything like that. I never felt comfortable. And I, I, still, I still get that way now. Like, if I was to be just all of a sudden in front of a panel of you guys, like, it would be awesome. And on, like, a YouTube panel or, like, my own panel or what, like, something like that would happen. Not that I'm saying, you know, I'd get one. But, um, and you guys would be there and you'd be loving it. But I would be caking it at the same time and I'd be loving it as well. But, it, like, that would be so cool to me to to talk to you guys, like, we do live streams, and it's really cool to get the comments, but to actually see, like, the faces behind the, uh, the profile pictures and the comments, um, that would be awesome, like, uh, a long time ago, somebody said, like, oh, do you get recognized at all, or anything like that, and I, I'd, I'd say, like, I didn't, like, I honestly didn't, but, um, Recently, it started happening to me, and it's it's really weird. Like, um, I, w I was cycling back from the gym one day, and there was these two kids um, on the curb who were on their like one was on their iPad or something like that. And um, as I as they were they were talking, and as I cycled past, they're probably hey, if you're watching this now, you know who you are. Um, and they they went silent, and I was like, oh okay, they were they were talking a second. They go. Does, do I look horrible? Am I ugly today? <laughs> and as I as I walked past, I heard murmured, "Gaming Beaver." And I was like, D "Did I just hear that?" And then a second later, the other kid must have replied and said, "You watched the Gaming Beaver." And I was like, "They are. They they did know who I am." And then like I then like a couple of seconds after that, they like shouted it, and I was like, "Do I turn around? What do I do here?" <laughs> <laughs> and even like when I went down to the car, to, like to pick up my car from uh, Preston, and I just nipped into a petrol station. The quit like the chances of bumping into anybody that knew knows who I am. And I was just like, paying my petrol. As I went back to the car, they all shouted like these two kids from a car next to mine were like Beaver, Beaver. <laughs> like I was like Jesus, what are the chances? But it's so awesome when that happens, just to sort of like get feedback and like ask them oh yeah what's what what do you like about it? what's your favorite series or do you have like a favorite character um and that that's what i love about this it's always been um getting feedback and seeing what you guys enjoy cuz i love doing this and i i like playing the games i do and i'm i'm not just this channel that plays dinosaur content but i do love dinosaurs so it's it's not like you know all of a sudden another series comes out of the blue yeah it's because i i wouldn't put anything on the channel that i didn't enjoy that's what it boils down to. And there are people out there that are, are just here for Jurassic Park Builder, or, well, not anymore. <laughs> um, but um, Jurassic World, the game. 
And that's that's fine. That's completely fine. Like you can be here and you can watch these videos and you pro if you are just for these, you probably switch stuff. If not, you're like, who's this guy with opinions? God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um But yeah, it's 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 really awesome. I, I go on a tangent all the time. I started from one thing, jumped to another, and I, I got onto being recognized. Like, Jesus, what a what a topic to talk about. Ooh, me, me, me. God. <laughs> Be humble, damn it. Uh, but guys, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps me out, and it, it puts a smile on my face when I click on a video, and I see within an hour that it's got so many likes. Um... Because the guy who commented said, you know, I remember when you'd get about 200 likes on a video. And, like, that would be it. It would probably be up to 200 before the next one got out. And then it would sort of die down. And now each video, almost every video I do has a thousand likes. It's, it's like, subscribers come and go. And I don't know. It's something to do with the YouTube algorithm. You can have a million subscribers but only get 30,000 views. I don't exactly know how that happens. But when you have people liking every video and watching it because i mean you wouldn't click on a video like it then leave i couldn't imagine like because if that doesn't make sense but if you watch a video you might go oh yeah i'll subscribe and then you realize it's not the right content you may not even take the time to unsubscribe so you might have dead subscribers but people leave the like that's how you know a channel's active and how the fan base really like what you do um so this has been a podcast of the game beaver I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> it, it I, maybe one day. I mean, leave in the comments, tell me if you want me to just yammer on. But God knows how long. I passed in life. And look at this. We're done. Oh, yeah. Look how small it is. I mean, to be honest, it has to accommodate a fat of dipl diplodocus or God knows what's in there. And look at the other ones just in cryostasis behind them. Freaky. Um, so that's a level 30 to a 40. So I need to fuse these ones as well. <laughs> Jesus, it's an endless splicing of DNA. For science! Gah! Make everything the same. Make everything better. Give it more teeth. Give it more claws and more brains. So eventually it can kill us, overthrow us, and enslave us. It's fantastic. So guys, I, I've probably done a false ending two or three times now. I just want to say thank you. And maybe um, if you like this sort of end stuff, uh, talking about general things, uh, leave it leave it in the comments. Tell, like, tell me anything you guys want. Tell me what your favorite color is. And... If you know what mine is, I'd be quite interested to know if you're a hardcore fan. If you actually know what my favorite color is, um, that would be a bit creepy. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh,